Change anytime soon? Let's find out. Miss Marina's here. Good morning, Marina. Good morning. Hello. Well, we're actually going to get a little milder as we head on into the next like couple 12? of days. <laughs> like 30. Oh, ah. cool. I know. I know. We're really uh, starting up, but the 30s are going to present a little bit of a problem with a mix of precipitation as we head on into uh, the next few days. So we're going to see a chance for a little bit of everything. Snow, freezing rain, mm. a little bit of a wintry mix. So that's not starting today, so not too bad. Except for tomorrow. Except for tomorrow. <laughs> so right. Focus into, on the positive. And into Monday or just a Sunday Into deal? really Tuesday, Wednesday. So oh. we'll have a few waves of low pressure wow. that are going to move on in that'll give us a few chances for this mixed precip. So we can even enjoy the warmer temperatures. Yeah. Because you can't go outside. It's well, freezing I mean, rain on us. You can. It's just that, uh, <laughs> yeah, you know. But you won't. I won't. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thanks, Marina. Thanks, Marina. <laughs> All right, top story this morning and new this right now. Yeah, single digits pretty much all across uh, the region. So it is a chilly start. But uh, yeah, we're looking at about six degrees at the airport. So we're seeing a cold start to the morning, but it could have been a lot worse. Our northern counties are all in the below zero and sub zero wind chill and actual temperature. But you can see that we're pretty crystal clear out there, which is great. And as we head on into uh, the afternoon and evening, that's when we're going to start to see those clouds increase once again. But we'll see plenty of sunshine to start, which will uh, help those temperatures feel a little bit better. But we do have a winter storm watch already in effect for tomorrow. We've got a, a couple of systems moving in the first of which tomorrow being probably starting as snow, maybe a little bit of freezing rain and a mix turning back into snow on Sunday night. So it might be a little bit slick as you're moving out and about tomorrow. So just keep that in mind. I wanted to give everyone a heads up. But as we head on into the day today, it's going to be pretty uneventful, topping out at about 20 pretty light winds all across the area and a live look outside right now. And it is quite quiet and calm. Six degrees, very calm wind, so we're not having to deal with the wind chill, which is fantastic. And you can see that uh, we are quite uh, below zero up towards the north, and that's actually, especially the western, northwestern portion of our viewing area where we're seeing the winds. And because those winds coming out of the south, though, that's the key, are going to continue at about uh, 10 to 15 for folks in our western counties. You're going to see the bulk of that wind chill this morning, and you can see that 20 below in Alec to 17 below in Bemidji. But uh, we are nice and calm in the metro, which is great. And taking a look at your weekend today is definitely the better day, even though tomorrow is warmer. We're going to probably have to deal with a mixed precipitation as we head on into the day tomorrow, and that's why we already have that winter storm watch. But I'll give you more details on that coming up in a little bit and show you the seven day. Back to you guys. All right. Thanks. Marina, so. let's, let's get some snow back. Like a lot of snow. Th there have been no sled that we've had no sledding. I know. There's grass out there. Let's and over go the already. next and over the next few days, you know, we'll see just a little bit of that freezing rain, but then snow will come with oh, it. And so the hold. problem. It, it, I'd say a couple inches, but it'll be maybe mm -hmm. enough to freshen things up. I mean, everything just looks so brown okay. out there yeah. right now. I did a, I did a talk on Thursday over in Chaska, and the kids are just like, it's weird to see brown grass everywhere. And I was like, it is. And so, you know, I really hope that we're going to be able to get some nice white stuff so those kids can head out there and go sledding. But we're going to have to be very careful with these next few systems just because it's a big bag. So we could see a little bit of freezing rain as well as the snow. So that could make for some very slick driving conditions. And that's why we already have a winter storm watch in effect for tomorrow. But this morning and today, nothing. We've got a nice quiet day. Six degrees currently in the metro, but six below in St. Cloud. So it's a little bit colder as you head up towards the north and the south. One degree in both Marshall and Owatonna. Yesterday we topped out at 21. That's pretty much where we're going to be again today. So just a touch below average. And we're actually getting a nice south southeasterly flow right now. And it's that southerly wind that's going to drive our temperatures up here for the next couple of days. It's a bit of a catch 22. We want the warmer temperatures because it's been a bit of a tough week. But because of those warmer temperatures, we're getting that mixed precipitation here with a couple of systems that are going to stroll in through the middle of the week. So high pressures now moved over to our east. We're getting that nice flow of warmer air. We're going to start to see clouds increase heavily later on this afternoon, but it's going to be a pretty sunny start, which is nice. So a slight wind chill today, but not bad as we head on into tonight 14 and then moving on into our Sunday. That's when we already have that winter storm watch for the day in effect. So keep that in mind. Otherwise, taking a look, we've got temperatures that will be in the low to mid 30s all the way through Tuesday before once again we get that Arctic blast moving on in for the end of the week. We'll be right back in a moment. Just Marina Jureka. We're going to have a very pleasant day on tap today. Not too shabby. We've got that southerly wind working for us, bringing those temperatures up, which is great. But it's going to come at a bit of you bundle up if you are out early. The Fox 9 Morning News continues right now. So I think maybe he's getting finally getting acclimated, as many of us have. 
over well, the past week. And and what's funny is you know it's all perception because you wake up we wake up to negative 15 actual temperature you know for a couple of days this week mm -hmm. and then wind chills well below that so six degrees this morning feels pretty good just because sure. we've gotten used to of course that wind chill and the colder temperatures so our body beefs up pretty quickly when it comes to uh, withstanding the colder temperatures. And so this morning, yes, it is chilly, but it's not as bad as it has been all week long. Looking at our clouds and radar here over the past four hours, we got a few clouds that are strolling on in. We're going to have a sunny start. However, clouds will be increasing as we move on into the rest of the day today. We already have a winter storm watch in effect for tomorrow. That starts Sunday morning through Sunday night. And unfortunately, because we are seeing that increase in temperatures, we're going to see a mixed bag of precipitation as we move on into the next few days. But Overall, today is looking good, so if you want to get out there and enjoy that, that's fantastic. Just a slight wind chill, otherwise increasing clouds throughout the day. But look at this. This is what I wanted to get to. When we've got those nice horse tails, those beautiful high-level cirrus clouds, we get a sunrise like this, and it is so beautiful. I mean, it is just absolutely fantastic. So if you get a chance to get out there and take a picture of that, it is an absolutely gorgeous sunrise. Six degrees right now, calm winds, which is fantastic. So we're not going to deal with the wind chill this morning. A slight wind chill later on this afternoon. A little cooler up north and down to our south. We've got that nice little e urban heat island working for us right now. The winds are out to our west. And uh, so because it's a little windier there, you folks are seeing a bit of that wind chill with 11 below in Marshall, 20 below in Alec. But uh, the rest of us are calm. So that is good news. Quick look at your weekend. It's a cold start today, but we'll see in clouds increase 20 degrees, not too shabby at all. And then Sunday we'll get that mix, uh, probably starting out snow, maybe a little bit of freezing rain and then a wintry mix before we end off with a little bit of snow. And it is it is light precipitation, but nonetheless enough to be slick. That's why we do have that winter storm watch in effect for the day 31 for our high. But look at that. I put a beach on there because I'm thinking it's a heat wave. The 30s are coming in, which is fantastic. And we've got that winter storm watch to worry about tomorrow. But uh, I'll show you that seven day coming up in a few minutes. Uh, and uh, we will be back to the Arctic blast forecast coming up by the end of, of the week. Course. But at least for now, let's let's enjoy the 30s. Pretend we're going to a beach. Yes, really? at 30 yeah. degrees. <laughs> It doesn't help when it's cold outside either, but uh, as we move on into the day today, it is going to be a sunny start and then we're going to see clouds increase throughout the day today and uh, it will be milder, but very similar to yesterday, about 20 degrees for our high with just a very slight wind chill. Winds are coming out of the south, so that's allowing for our temperatures to move on up here over the next uh, 24 to 36 hours. Increasing clouds continue tonight. We'll be left with mostly cloudy conditions, 14 for our low with a milder overnight and then 31 tomorrow. We already have a winter storm watch in effect for our Sunday and that is for the potential of some rain and snow mix as well as freezing rain and then some snow on top of all of that. So we'll have to keep a close eye on tomorrow and then a few systems strolling into the midweek before we get that Arctic blast in back back into the region by the end of the week. I'll give you more details coming up, but for now we'll just Marina Jurica. Let's take a look right now at that forecast for your morning. It is going to be a pretty decent start. It's a little on the cool side, but uh, we can handle that. We're seeing tomorrow in the 70 forecast coming up in a bit. The Fox 9 morning news continues right now. Decent start to this Saturday. We've got some sunshine out there, but clouds are starting to move on in from the west. And as that happens, clouds will increase throughout the day today, setting us up for our next system, which will hold off until tomorrow. So keep that in mind. Taking a look right now at a winter storm watch, which is in effect for tomorrow, and it includes our metro. And that's just because basically what's happening is we are going to have temperatures move on up, and it's going to cost us a bit because we're going to see a mixed bag of precipitation strolling on in tomorrow with that system with a chance for snow as well as freezing rain and a little bit of that wintry mix. So things, even though they're going to be light tomorrow, we're going to want to make sure that as we head on into the day, we're aware of that because things could get pretty slick pretty fast and taking a look right now it was a beautiful sunrise but you can see those clouds are starting to stroll on in and that'll be the case all day today but it doesn't feel that bad out there seven degrees with calm winds we are not dealing with a wind chill this morning at least here it's colder up towards the north and even to our south we've got a, a little urban heat island buffer right now but the winds are picking up at about 5 to 15 miles per hour in our western counties and that's where we're seeing a little bit of that wind chill with 19 below in Alec, 9 below in Marshall. So it is a little bit cooler to the west and to the northwest especially. But uh, as we move on into the day today, things will get better. Top it out at about 20 degrees. God bless you, Tom. And moving on into uh, 
mostly cloudy skies by tonight and then Sunday 31. So the 30s are returning and then we have that winter storm watch in effect for the entire day tomorrow and uh, we'll get a little bit of snow, a mix and even possibly a little bit of ice. So heat wave rolling on in. I know it's kind of funny, but after being well below zero for quite some time, 30s returning and then we've got that winter storm watch to worry about tomorrow and mixed chances will actually stay with us through Tuesday with some light snow possibly through Wednesday. So it's going to be a busy next few days. We'll keep you posted as this weather does move on in. We'll be right back in a moment. Well, we are going to be looking at a cool start to the morning, but uh, overall a pretty decent day today. Very similar to yesterday, just a little more cloud coverage. We're actually going to see highs top out at around 20, which will be nice. But we're starting out the morning at 7. It's a little cooler up towards the north and towards our south. We've got a little bit of an urban heat island that we're dealing with right now. But yesterday we topped out at 21. We are going to be looking at uh, being a touch below average again today. And then we're going to get way above average for a few days actually into the 30. So here's the big setup. High pressure is now moved towards our east. So we're going to see that southerly flow just continue to bring our warmer temperatures into the region. But we're also going to see that next area low pressure start to push those clouds into our way. And as that occurs, of course, we'll see clouds increase and then we'll be looking at a mixed bag tomorrow. We can see pretty much a little bit of everything with a, a rain snow mix with some snow as well as freezing rain. So we'll have to be careful, even though it's going to be light, we're going to have to watch out for things being slick. So 20 for our high today, just a slight wind chill with increasing clouds tonight. Mostly cloudy 14 milder overnight. And then as we move on into our Sunday, 31 with the winter storm watch already in effect from tomorrow morning through tomorrow night. And because those temperatures are moving on up, we get the chance to see a little bit of all that kind of precipitation that I mentioned. So things could get slick. And then unfortunately, with a couple of areas low pressure moving in both on Monday through Wednesday, we could be looking at that same chance of a little bit of everything because our temperatures are going to get into the low to mid 30s. Then Arctic blast again as we move on towards the end of the week, of course, and saying goodbye to January believe it or not. We'll be right back in a moment, folks.